My name is Erasmo, Eddie Malacara, founder of Eddie Aviation Videos. Hello my friends, uh, welcome to another video of Eddie Aviation Videos. Today we want to have the opportunity to perform spins on this beautiful plane, the Tomahawk, the Piper Tomahawk. And the first thing that we need to make sure is that the plane is spinnable. We already check our POH and we find the placards that it state that this plane is really spinnable. Number two, we already cleared the plane from all loose objects around us and we don't have anything else. Uh, because when we enter the spin, probably those loose objects are going to be flying everywhere. Next thing we need to do is we want to make sure that we have very tight seats. We're going to tie down our shoulder harness. Alright, so we are tight. And I have the plan, David. Uh, you have the plan? Uh -huh. Go ahead, tie down yourself. Okay. Good job. And so now what I want to do, I want to slow down the plane. And I want to imagine that I'm landing without flaps. I need to start losing my speed, kind of like one knot per second. I want to use my trim to help me out. There you go, there is my speed bleeding. So you will be able to hear the warning stall. There you go, very small on the entry. And we're fixing to count the stop right there. And here we go. One, two, three, opposite. And slowly, brisk, forward. And slowly recover. There you go. And actually, we don't lose too much altitude. There you go. How about your ears? Your ears are okay? Oh, they're good. All right, let me do one more to the left, okay? And you will feel some kind of buffering on the tail, and it should the tail buffering before the stall. Now, once you recoup, it's going to take a while to uh, right. to break the, the spin. And you, you notice we lost kind of like a 1,300 feet. Right. And we did like three turns. That's not bad. No, not bad. Now, uh, what I observed, Today I did a spin on the 150 a couple of days ago, and uh, on that one, it's really the recoup. The recoup is really easy. You should let it go of controls in the plane, pretty much uh. break on the spiral. On this one, you need to really put the correct inputs, and the plane is not going to recover till you briskly apply the, the control forward. Gotcha. I have the plane. All right, find you. All have right, the and uh, the controls. So now I want to do it to the left. Same thing. Slow this acceleration. So the acceleration kind of like lost one knot per second. There you go. And here we go to the left. First kind of traffic. And opposite rudder. You notice we're getting inverted there. Yeah. And the reason is to the left, the P factor. Right, got you. It's always more violent to the left than to the right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do you have the plane? Right, I have the plane. Now you're going to do it and I will guide you. Okay. Now when you apply the, the ruler, don't, you don't need to slap the ruler all the way. It's a constant pressure. pressure. Okay. Then once you feel the rotation, hold it. Whenever the rotation starts, hold it right there. Okay. And then when I finish one, two, three, then opposite ruler, be patient because the plane is still turning. It's not going to recoup immediately. Okay. There you go. Okay, so go ahead and small this acceleration. Good job. Very good, that's the way. All the way to idle the power. There you go. 
And slowly to the right. Hold it, right there. Hold it. One, One two, two, three. Opposite rudder. Hold Opposite it. Rudder. There you go. Oh, man. That was even better than mine. <laughs> okay. Wait, it's too much here. You, you lose too much altitude. No, it's not good. Uh, let's do one to the left. Let me turn the fuel pump back. There. For yeah. the yeah, that was much better oh. entry than mine. I think, oh, I, I, think I pushed it too fast <laughs> on the rudder. Now, on the left, it's going to be even more violent, so uh, go easy on the yeah. rudder. There you go. Okay, now you just... Uh -huh. Slow this acceleration. Okay. Good job. Now it's going to be to the left. Keep on going. Up, up. Not yet with the rudder. Just wait. Oh, we're down the aisle. Uh-huh. Slowly. Slowly. Very well. There you go. Here we oh. go. Hold it. One. One. Two. Two. Opposite three. rudder. Wait. Hold it. Brisk. Push. Push. There, there we go. go. Slow, uh, slow the, on the, there you go. Slow the nose. Slowly. Very slow. Very slow. Right. Yeah, too much. There we go. Coming up. Good. We're good. That was good, man. Uh, you notice to the left is even more violent than yes, to the right is, because of the P-factor. Yeah. And you notice that the delay is, is actually, it takes longer to recoup. Yeah, it, it, it takes a couple more spins. And, and I don't know, you notice there, at some point I told you, uh, relax it forward, and that's what's when, uh, when the really plane broke it, right. Uh, yeah. There you have it, my friends. Please, please, please don't try this on your own. This, is, this maneuver involves a specific procedure to recoup. And if you're not familiar, you can get in trouble. Find another pilot that have experience on spins, or better, find a certified flight instructor and come and do spins with them, because it can save you your life someday. Now, for private pilot training, it's not required to do spins. It was required in the 60s or 70s, but a lot of people get killed. So now FAA demand from us instructors to teach very well our students how to recover for a stall. Because in reality, a spin is a stall that gets out of control. So now, as instructors, we need to teach our students how to recoup as soon as we recognize the imminent stall. Because if we control this, the stall, we never will want to go on a spin. However, since it's not required for private pilots or commercial instruments, I would suggest to come with a certified flight instructor and do it. Because at some point in your life, it can save your life. According with regulations, only certified flight instructors, they need to be certified on the entry procedures of a spin and on the recuperation procedures of a spin. And today I have the opportunity to be training with one of my friends, Dave, and he is going to be soon a certified flight instructor. So we need to come and train and practice the spins on this plane. Second thing I want to add, don't expect to like it. We don't like to do spins because it's a very abnormal maneuver. But for us as a, an instructors, we need to be able to spin in order for us to get certified. Okay, Dave, so can you tell our friends that are watching on YouTube, what was your experience to do spins for the first time? Uh, well, my experience the first time, um, at, at first it's, it's uh, kind of nerving. Um, as long as you keep everything in, in perspective and, uh, and, and know what to expect and what to do, after the spin occurs, then it's really not a uh, it's really not an issue. It, it's just an, it's it's really just another maneuver. Now, Dave, I hear before when I come with the students at those spins that they told me, oh, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was thinking it would be something different. Or what do you think about that? How do you explain to to the guys that never did the spins? How do you explain what you felt? This maneuver, no matter what, it's going to be. You're gonna be uh, you're gonna be looking straight down to the ground. You're gonna you're gonna be in a in a rotation, and I mean anybody anybody is gonna be unnerved under those circumstances regardless. But uh, uh, the thing is, um, being exposed to it is is worth is worth a thousand words just being exposed to it because once you're exposed to it and uh, you see the techniques you do what you're trained to do and you recover. That's, that's true, and, and uh, Dave is saying something really interesting, my friends. He was mentioning, Dave was mentioning about uh, the fact that we see the ground in front of us and spinning, 
and that's very very scary uh, I've been doing this for a long time and uh, I hate it I don't like it but I need to do it as an flying instructor to teach another instructor so don't expect to like that maneuver the next thing that I would like to point is is a lot of misunderstanding about spinning a tomahawk uh, some people like to call the tomahawk and some people they even say that it will be unrecoverable on a spin and we should demonstrate you that with the proper technique and the proper training it can be recovered this morning uh, somebody sent me an email saying oh don't speak the tomahawk because one NASA pilot threw the tomahawk on a spin and he cannot recoup the plane and sadly unfortunately it's a lot of a lack of education on this area the tomahawk is very spinnable very easy to recover but no don't believe that about the tomahawk and that that you are going to spin the plane and you will go all the way to the ground as we demonstrate today it's very easy to spin with the proper training and the proper technique don't do it if you don't have those two things with you all right my friends i hope that you enjoyed this video Meanwhile, please keep the sky safe and fun, and I'll see you next time. Nos vemos la próxima ocasión.